Welcome to the second installment of Designing Space's Military Makeover, brought to you by Nissan North America. I am Gunnery Sergeant R. Lee Ermey, and we are about halfway through our renovation of the home of wounded warrior Stephen Lund. Hey, there's a lot to do before the Lund family can return. Time for us to show our appreciation and give back to those who have sacrificed. This is Designing Space's Military Makeover, and it starts right now. Here we are in the home of Stephen Lunt and his little family. Now we sent them away on a little R&R &R and are doing some badly needed renovations from the overhead to the deck. Now first off, maybe we should see who Stephen is. I'm sure that would help. <laughs> Uh, I was born and raised in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, which is just a little town outside of Charleston. Stephen was on leave from Japan. He started talking to me and said something like, so you go to college or something like, something cheesy. Stephen joined the Marine Corps Special Operations Task Force and was first deployed to Fallujah, Iraq, before volunteering to go to the extremely dangerous and remote Herat province in Afghanistan. We had received a message from a team that was in distress. They were crossing a river that was deeper than usual. Having their ammunition-filled Humvee stuck in the river, the team called Stevens' unit for assistance. The game plan was to try to block the river um, with sandbags by hiring local nationals to come help us. One of the younger kids that was working for us um, used a pickaxe that was in his hand and struck me in the back of the head. Ashley receives a phone call from the commanding officer telling her about the incident. I was a wreck, of course, as to be expected. But when I got to hear his voice and hear him talk to me, it was a lot of reassurance. Eventually, Stephen recovers, and now it's time for us to give back and make over their townhouse in Somerville, South Carolina. Of course, with the help of Operation Homefront, the nonprofit who provided the home. We'll learn more about the kitchen cabinets being installed for the Lunts. Designing Spaces Operation Homefront will be right back. Welcome back to Designing Spaces Operation Homefront. Remodeling operations are in full swing. And as you can see, the new kitchen cabinets have arrived. Like any other operation, there must be a plan of action. For our military makeover, you wouldn't expect anything less, would you? Responsible for the kitchen install are Choice Cabinet CEO, Tony Lornatis, and New England affiliate, design and sales manager, Jake Conley. So like Gunny mentioned, we're making big progress here, especially in the kitchen. We've got choice cabinets here. Tony, what's happening? You're Hi, checking Art. out the, uh, the drawers? I am, just checking over the install. Uh, things have been going great uh, today. Uh, the installers came in, started up this morning. We got the cabinets here in like less than a week. Yeah, it's amazing and it looks like a custom job. Tell me about the finish because obviously there's so many choices of finishes out there. Yes, there are. Um, what has the family chosen and what's the difference between choice cabinets and some of the others out there? All right, great. Uh, the family uh, chose Renaissance. It's actually one of our best sellers. It's a cream style colored. It's got the uh, off-white uh, with the hand-applied glazing. It's actually a door that has a mitered corners. Uh, it's our best seller. It's really a nice looking cabinet. And we got Jake here. Jake, tell me about, everybody sees the outside of the cabinets and they look great, obviously, but what makes choice cabinets different? It's the way they're built, right? Yeah, these are built like a rock. A solid construction. It's 5 eighths plywood, 3 quarter inch shelving. It's not the part of the board that might wear and tear over time. Right. So it's a uh, longevity and it also helps in installation because the installation, it's plumb, level, and flush. So very little issues on install. That's excellent. Because of their plywood construction, the cabinets can hold the weight of any countertop surface. What many don't realize is that most cabinets at this price point are constructed from particle board, which is brittle and can significantly weaken when exposed to water. Tell me about some of the features uh, on these. The drawers all come standard with soft close. So when you uh, try to close the drawers, the glides uh, provide a cushioned close. Uh, even the doors come with soft close. 
Uh, the dovetail drawer boxes provide a nice fit in terms of the uh, construction instead of, of being glued or stapled. Very nice, very nice. So with the solid wood construction, how long are these designed to last? And what kind of warranty do you offer? Great question. Uh, the cabinets, because they're all wood, um, last for a very long time. In fact, Choice Cabin offers a lifetime warranty with our cabinets. Really? And how about installation? Do you guys come out here or do you sub the work out? How does that work? We typically can package it in from the measurement to the design to the install to make it very easy on the customer. But when it comes down to it with the solid construction of the box, the pocket screws, the dovetails, it's a very simple process. In all the installs, the cabinets come plumb level and flush. So if you're a handyman, you can also do it yourself. The planning, design, and execution is crucial since the kitchen is considered the most important room in the house, but it can also be the most disruptive room in the house if things don't go right. From the planning point of view, having an accurate measurement done, having a professional designer to come in, do the measurements accurately, do a design that's really geared around the customer's preference. Are they entertaining a lot? Is there a lot of children? Do, you know, does the husband and wife cook together? How much room do they need to have to maneuver around the kitchen? Those are all factors that have to go into the design. And then of course, then the install process goes much more smoother, provided you have a knowledgeable and good installer to work with, because right. that job is made easier with proper planning. Seacoast Home and Leisure is here to help with the install, and the countertop is provided by Worthwood Group. All parts are being assembled right here, so the pressure's on. The Lunds picked out the door style, they picked out the countertop, the profile, all the little details that were important to them. Nice, and they have good taste too, because it's gonna look good in here with the flooring and all the rest of the design. How can we get a hold of you and how can homeowners out there find out about Choice Cabinets? They can simply go to choicecabinet.com or N-E, N-E as in New England, choicecabinet.com. Excellent, thanks guys, really appreciate it. Keep up the good work and uh, I'll check back with you when it's all done. All right, thank all you. Right, thanks. It's not long before the Lunts move back in. The Mannington flooring install is coming along, and most rooms in this Operation Homefront home have been painted. But there's still a lot to do. The crew is working non-stop to make the deadline. You've already seen some of Stephen Lunt's story, but there is a lot more, trust me. Many events in their lives will be documented with pictures and videos. But how permanent are they? Maybe it's time to build a digital home for those family memories. What do you think? Glenn Meekum is founder and CEO of Forever Inc., a provider for permanent online media storage. So thanks for being here, Glenn. As you can see, we're in the middle of progress and checking out the storage here, getting the closets ready for the uh, Lunt family. Absolutely. Storage is very important, would Storage you say? Storage is very important, Absolutely. Where do you put all of your stuff? Where do you put your family photos? You have a solution for that. Well, that's right, and that's why I'm the, I'm the CEO of Forever.com, and Forever.com is a place to save all your most important photos and videos and documents, and, and basically what we're trying to do with for, the, for Stephen and Ashley Lunt is give them, in addition to a physical home, is give them a digital home. So we've got these huge boxes in our houses of uh, old photos, and they're all in disarray. How do we get all of those old physical prints onto forever.com? You can send us a box by FedEx and we'll do the scanning and organizing for you. But this is incredibly powerful because these boxes full of photos that sit in people's attics and garages, they get destroyed in floods. They eventually, when people downsize, they all get thrown away. Sure. And all that family history is lost. Here's a photo of you know, my engagement party with my wife. You know, I've been married 25 years, but then here's my parents at their oh, wedding. Wow. And here's my grandparents when they were engaged in the early 1930s. These memories are critical. And, and we, we have to know where we came from. We have to know what the family background is, what our values are, what our beliefs are. Yeah. And forever is a great way to transmit all that. Stephen Lunt certainly has great stories. And being able to hand down those visual memories to future generations can be very valuable. You're talking about hundreds of years of storage. That's right. So there's two major ways where we say it's permanent online storage. And it's really the first ever permanent online storage. And the big part of that is we have a guarantee fund. So when you pay, you pay to become a member of Forever. But when you pay, what happens is part of that money goes into the Forever Guarantee Fund and really permanently endows the future of your storage and your sharing. As technology is ever changing, Forever converts file formats as they become more and more sophisticated. 
Walk us through the site here for the Luntz. Yeah, so this is this is um, you know Stephen Luntz's site that we've given him as part of this military makeover, and this is his homepage. This is his gallery page, and you can see there's different albums. And I'll just flip you through a couple things. So you know there's an album about his growing up, and then of course he met Ashley. He was already in the, in the Marine Corps. He met Ashley when he was traveling, and they fell in love, and they, they you know, had a great courtship, and then they got married, and of course, there's a big album all about their wedding. Everybody needs to have that, right? Sure. And then, um, then of course, he served in Iraq twice, and he served in Afghanistan, so there's a lot of photos about his military experience and time with his uh, fellow team members, and, and then, of course, we know the story about how he got injured mm -hmm. and how he you know, survived that terrible combat experience in Afghanistan, and of course, he was awarded the, the Purple Heart, and we have that photo here. Being a first Gulf War veteran, Glenn could relate to Stephen and has been involved with wounded warrior type projects for about 10 years. We heard about Operation Homefront, we heard about the Lunts, and we said, you know, in addition to them, all these great people rebuilding their and, and redecorating and, and renovating their, their physical home, hey, let's give them a digital home. Well, that's excellent. Thanks, and best of luck with the business. I know you're super excited about it. Yeah, it thanks. shows, and thanks for being a part of this excellent cause that we're working on here. Thanks very much, Art. All right. To find out more about permanent online digital storage, visit forever.com. The Gunny's on patrol and making a stop in the kitchen. Looks like he doesn't like what he sees. It's a big hole up there on top of the cabinets. But I'm sure you'll figure something out for that before it's over with. Designing Spaces Operation Homefront will be right back. We're back here in Somerville, South Carolina. Designing Spaces Operation Homefront is making over a home for a wounded veteran. You know, as a young family just getting started, Stephen and Ashley will be watching their household expenses. One of those expenses is the dreaded utility bill. As part of our military makeover, we're gonna help them keep their heating and air conditioning costs down with a simple solution that adds a lot of class. It's the perfect combination of form and function. It's these babies right here. To tell us more about ceiling fans, we met up with Casablanca Fan Company CEO, John Alexander. John, it's so great to have you here. And no home is complete, in my opinion anyway, without a beautiful ceiling fan. So tell us about all the different designs that you guys have at Casablanca Fans. Well, I don't know if we have enough time to talk about all of them, but I'll talk about a few we have here. You know, we have a, a collection in this home, actually all very different. They were designed for each one of these rooms, so the family's got to pick out the fans they felt fit the rooms really right. well. And with the collection we have, we have the ability for people to basically build any kind of fan they want. So this one in particular was sort of molded from an original design, I understand, carved out of wood. It was. So our designers, they like the feel of that turned wood design. So they handcrafted, took a piece of solid wood, carved it out by hand, and then they went to the manufacturer and said, we really want to have a piece that looks just like this. So they took that original mold and developed this design. Do all the fans have light kits on them that are going into the house? So all of them here do. You can have fans with and without light kits. And it's very easy. You can change the light kits out depending on the style you'd like. Ceiling fans help create an overall ambience in each room and certainly help with the room's air movement. So there are a lot of very sort of what I call the basic designs. As you said, you know, you have a contemporary design if you want a traditional design. But with Casablanca line, what's really nice, we have what's called a custom Casablanca line. And what it does is it allows you to start from scratch and say, I'd like to have this style of motor and that color and that finish. Then you can take that and start matching blades to it. So you can have different blade designs, different light kits. And you have over 8 million configurations of fans you can wow. design for yourself. Wow, that is amazing. The Lunts are also getting a ceiling fan installed out on the patio. And there are differences between a damp rated fan and a wet rated outdoor fan. They're designed with components and um, the motors, the blades, everything else that we call that an outdoor fan, which is a little different than a damp rated fan. This is actually a damp rated fan here as well. But the outdoor fan, it's open to the elements, can be open to the elements, rain hitting it, and it's designed to withstand those external elements. The damp rated fans are designed, if you have a humid environment, whether it's an enclosed porch, screened in porch, or maybe a kitchen where you have a lot of humidity, 
The components are designed to stand up to those uh, high humidity. And what kind of warranty uh, comes along with all these fans? Yeah, because Casablanca has uh, one year of parts and labor, but then what's really nice is we have 120 day in-home warning. So if you have any problem, we'll send somebody out, take care of it in your home. You said uh, about sending people out. I know you've got your people here doing the installation. It looks fairly easy. Can a DIY type person do that themselves? Absolutely. One of the things we focus on, we know people, there's a high percentage that love to install their own fans. So we've designed them to be very easy to install. Ceiling fans can contribute to consuming less electricity, and each element in the Casablanca fan is designed to move more cubic feet of air per minute while using significantly less energy. You can save up to 45% on your cooling bills in the summer and up to 15% on your heating bills in the winter. Are you excited to see uh, the reaction of the family when they come in and see their whole house? We really are. I mean, this is such a great cause. And, you know, being able to see people, well, anybody, you know, when you see your house redone, it's just exciting for them. It's where you spend all your time. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely going to be an amazing moment when we capture their reaction for sure. Thanks for being here, John. Thank you. Really appreciate it. To learn more, visit CasablancaFanCo.com. Now that we've made progress in the kitchen and the ceiling fans are installed, it's time to find out more about the vehicles used to transport people and goods that helped make this makeover a reality when we come back. We're back in Somerville, South Carolina, where Designing Spaces is making over a home for a wounded veteran. When mobilizing any operation, you need vehicles and you want vehicles that will deliver the goods that you can trust. And it wouldn't hurt if they even looked good. Yeah. To talk cars, we've invited Jennifer Pacheco from Nissan North America. Jennifer, it is so great to have you here with Nissan of North America. I mean, we literally couldn't do this shoot without you guys here, supplying three different vehicles for our production, the brand new Pathfinder, the new Titan, and of course, the Envy that we're standing in front of. So tell us about the new Nissan lineup. Well, first of all, it's our pleasure to be back. So thanks for allowing us to participate in this program. Lineup is great, and the Pathfinder, all new redesign. However, this vehicle has class leading fuel economy, class leading second row room. It's got towing capacity of 5,000 pounds. It's got a round view monitor, panoramic moonroof, you name it, it's a loaded up vehicle. And it now comes with Nissan Connect, which means it's available with Sirius XM satellite radio, including nav traffic and weather and Bluetooth connectivity. How about the Titan? So Titan actually has the class leading power. It's got a 317 horsepower V8 engine, towing capacity up to 9,500 pounds, and available Rockford Fosgate premium sound system, wow. again, XM Sirius satellite yeah. and uh, Bluetooth connectivity. That is amazing. So it's like a concert. In uh, your with, in your truck. With a pickup truck. And that's come in really handy because we've been running back and forth to the uh, you know supply stores and we pulled all of our gear in the back. It's worked out really yeah. well. Now this, the Envy, works out really well for passengers and cargo alike. And there's something different about this as well. There is, in fact, I'm really excited to talk about this. We have three different configurations in our commercial line. What we're working with today here is the passenger. We also have cargo and compact cargo. You have two choices in these engines. You have a 261 horsepower V6 or a 317 horsepower V8. Yeah. Thing about these vehicles is they now come with America's best commercial van warranty. It's five years, 100,000 miles, bumper to bumper. Nobody else has that. No one else has that. And this military makeover is not the only charitable organization Nissan North America has aligned with. We try to do as much as we can throughout the community. We're going on our ninth year with our partnership with Habitat for Humanity. We've donated millions of dollars. In fact, we're up to about a million and a half in donations each year. But more than that, thousands of our employees dedicate their own time to personally work with teams to build affordable housing throughout communities across the country. Now, you're really involved with the military community and you offer military discounts. How can we find out more about that? We certainly do. In fact, our military discounts can be found out about on NissanUSA.com as well as other charities that we're involved with and our discount programs and new models, but locally as well through ChooseNissan.com and our local Nissan dealerships. So great to have you again. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having Thanks us. Thanks for being here. On our next installment of Military Makeover, we complete our mission, the transformation of the Lunt family home. Be sure to see part number three, Designing Spaces Military Makeover 
brought to you by Nissan North America. Stay with us and follow through, people. See you there next time, okay? Adios. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. Follow us on Twitter or friend us on Facebook. Connect with us on Pinterest. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.